Well, to a new special Edmontonian now, Connor McDavid's impact is not only having an effect on the ice, but also on local charities. Several Oilers hit the links this afternoon for their charity golf tournament, raising funds for the Community Foundation. Connor McDavid is still with the rookie team in Penticton, so he isn't participating today. The team says his impact is already being felt on the local level. You just look across the country, uh, you know, number one pick and where he's been, and uh, he's going to be involved. He's going to be with uh, Hockey Helps Kids. He's going to be a big part of that, uh, so that's great that he's stepping up on that right away. Definitely some a lot of excitement there, and it's they'll great that they have that. Yeah, connection. they'll have to watch how they handle him because, he's, you know, he's 18 years old. He's going to... It's tough to, you know, you don't want to burn the kid out, mm -hmm, so absolutely. we'll see what happens, but uh, he's handled everything very, very well so far. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a busy day at Blackhawk for these guys. Uh, as you just saw, the uh, Oilers traded pucks for putters today for their Community Foundation Golf Tournament. Almost all the veterans are back in Edmonton. Training camp is right around the corner. As Quinn Phillips reports, a new season and a new look for the Oilers has everyone excited. Edmonton Oilers new head coach Todd McClellan found out just how much a buzz there is for his team on a flight filled with Edmontonians. I did answer a lot of questions and there's a lot of excitement around Connor. Uh, but more importantly, there's a lot of excitement around the organization. It's the same excitement amongst the veteran players who are golfing Monday, but ready to start off with a bang. They have medicals and physicals on Thursday, on-ice sessions start Friday. From a team standpoint, I don't think anyone could be more excited than us and uh, with all the changes up top and, and uh, the turnover on the rosters. Of course, so much buzz is around 18-year-old Connor McDavid. Oilers forward Taylor Hall got a jump on his teammates, skating with him at the BioSteel camp, as well at Gary Roberts' training facility. Building a relationship has been nice. It's just about making him feel as comfortable as possible. And, um, you know, he came in a little bit early. He got to see me, um, Luke, and a few other guys, and, and that's great for him. And, um, you know, he's 18 years old. He's, he's a young guy, but uh, um, I think that he's, he's going to fit in really well with us. It's not the time of year for New Year's resolutions, but, of course, every player is coming back with a fresh mind and new goals. I think I just want to take the take the load off myself, not not put as much pressure on myself to, to change games and, um, you know, to be that guy every night, it's uh, it's one of those things that's hurt me in the past and uh, I'm looking forward to just kind of playing my game and, and trying to help, help out my line mates and help out my team as much as I can. Well, I think I can still improve on um, most aspects of my game. I mean, obviously face off's a big one I want to be relied on in that, uh, in that regard, but I mean, um, last couple of years I think I took a step in the right direction uh, when it comes to defensive play and that's something that I want to keep working on. Quinn Phillips, Global Sports. The Oilers rookies closed out the Young Stars Classic against Winnipeg today in Penticton and Connor McDavid as you heard did not play. Nick Ehlers and Andrew Kopp were playing and playing well early. Uh, Ehlers, Ehlers to Kopp for his second of the game. Jets up 2-0. Second period 2-1 the score. Braden Christopher scores. The Sherwood Park product was the best Oilers player in Penticton and it's 2-2. Third period now, Winnipeg up 4-2, Oilers come back again. Josh Winquist, who hails from St. Albert, scores from the slot, and it's 3-2. Oilers will then tie it. Alexis Loiseau with a nice move on Edmonton-born Eric Comrie. It was 5-0 to make it 4-4, sending the game to overtime, where the Jets will win it. Scott Kosmacek beats 8-2, Laura Kynan. 5-4 the final. The Oilers go 2-0-1 in the rookie tournament and will take on the Alberta Golden Bears Wednesday at Rexall Place.